Aprende inglés paso a paso. Lección 7. Nivel intermedio. Paso 1. I was gonna do it, but... But... Was... Where? Gramática 1. I was going to... But... O... Oh, when... Ejercicios a traducir. Te lo iba a decir, pero nunca era el momento. I was going to tell you... But it was never the right time to tell, contar. Te iba a llamar, pero no tenía cobertura. I was going to call you, but I didn't have any coverage. Ella iba a venir con nosotros, pero perdió su tren. She was going to come with us, but she missed her train. Yo iba a escribirle a ella, pero me llamó ayer. I was going to write to her, but she called me yesterday. Iban a ir a Venecia el fin de semana. Pero ella cogió la gripe a última hora. They were going to Venice for the weekend, but she got flu at the last minute. At the last minute, a última hora. Yo iba a estudiar el fin de semana, pero mis amigos me invitaron a una fiesta. I was going to study all the weekend, but my friends invited me to a party. But iba a llamarla cuando me llamó ella. I was going to call her when she called me. When Iban a tener que vender su casa cuando descubrieron la obra maestra en el ático. They were going to have to sell the house when they discovered the masterpiece in the attic. Iba a hacer café cuando tocaste el timbre. I was going to make some coffee when you rang the bell. Iban a ir a la policía cuando descubrieron la verdad. They were going to go to the police when they discovered the tru truth. Discovered. Iban a dejar la fiesta cuando entró el alcalde. They were going to leave the party when the mayor came in. Él iba a hacer su discurso cuando la alarma de incendio sonó. He was going to make his speech when the fire alarm sounded. To make or to give a speech. Hacer o dar un discurso. Paso 2. To hear. Hear y hear. Aquí se pronuncian igual como puedes ver. I can't hear, oigo. I can't hear, no oigo. Can you hear, oyes? Expresión de la semana. I can't hear, no oigo. Ejercicios a traducir. No te oigo. I can't hear you. To hear. No oigo la música. I can't hear the music. No te oigo muy bien. I can't hear you very well. Marca la T en can't. No oigo la conversación. I can't hear the conversation. No oigo tu canción. I can't hear your song. No oigo lo que ella dice. I can't hear what she's saying. What. Lo que. No lo oigo. ¿Y tú? I can't hear it. What about you? What about you? ¿Y tú? No me puedo concentrar. I can't hear myself think. I can't hear myself think. No puedo oírme pensar. Sería literal. No oigo nada. I can't hear anything. Anything. Nada cuando va con can't, es decir, cuando va en negativo la frase. No oigo nada desde aquí. I can't hear anything from here. Here o here. No oigo absolutamente nada. I can't hear a thing. A thing, una cosa. Paso 3. Actually, en realidad. En realidad. Angry, enfadado. Hungry, hambriento. Of, cough, tos. Trough. Comedero. Pronunciación. Incorrecto. Talked. Correcto. Thought. Ejercicios. A traducir. Pensaba que iba a ser más difícil de lo que era en realidad. I thought it was going to be more difficult than it actually was. Pensaba que iba a ser más fácil de lo que era en realidad. I thought it was going to be easier than it actually was. Pensaba que iba a ser más interesante de lo que era en realidad. I thought it was going to be more interesting than it actually was. Pensaba que él iba a ser más simpático de lo que era en realidad. I thought he was going to be nicer than he actually was. Pensaba que iban a estar más enfadados de lo que estaban en realidad. I thought they were going to be angrier than they actually were. Pensaba que ella iba a ser más guapa de lo que era en realidad. I thought she was going to be prettier than she actually was. Yo pensaba que te iba a resultar fácil. I thought you were going to find it easy. 
to find it difficult o to find it easy, resultar difícil o fácil. Pensábamos que ibas a venir. We thought you were going to come. Ella pensaba que ibas a llamar. She thought you were going to call. Pensaban que te iba a resultar difícil. They thought you were going to find it difficult. Te iba a llamar, pero no tenía cobertura. I was going to call you, but I didn't have any coverage. Todos pensábamos que iba a vender más. We all thought it was going to sell more. Él pensaba que ibas a entender. He thought you were going to understand. Paso 4. Comes. 100 euros. 100 euros. Euros. Europe. Phrasal verbs. That comes to X euros. Eso asciende a X euros. Ejercicios. A traducir. Eso asciende a 620 dólares. That comes to 620 dólares. El total asciende a 90 euros. The total comes to 90 euros. Asciende a 48 dólares por persona. It comes to 48 dólares per person. O a person. Por persona. A person. Per person. Con propina, la cuenta asciende a 147 euros. With the tip included, the bill comes to 147 euros. A tip, una propina o un consejo. La cantidad total asciende a 5.329 dólares después de impuestos. The total amount comes to 5.329 dólares after tax. Eso asciende a 414 euros. That comes to... 414 euros, sir. Sir, caballero, ma'am, señora. Ascendió a 132 euros, con todo incluido. It came to 132 euros, everything included. Antes de impuestos, el total ascendió a 59 euros. Before taxes, the total came to 59 euros. Tax o taxes, gravamen o impuestos. Incluyendo la propina, la cuenta ascendió a 79 euros. Including the tip, the bill came to 79 euros. En Estados Unidos, the tip, la propina, se considera obligatoria. Como mínimo es el 15% de lo que vale la cuenta. El total ascendió a 99.999 dólares. The total came to 99.999 dólares. Todo ascendió a 527 euros. It all came to 527 euros. La cantidad total ascendió a 919 euros. The total amount came to 919 dólares. Amount. Quantity. Cantidad. Paso 5. Work. Work as a carpenter. Carpintero. Carpentry. Carpintería. I'm a lawyer. I'm, sí, sonido vocálico. Vocabulario, profesiones. Abogado, lawyer. Periodista, journalist. Carpintero, carpenter. Enfermera, nurse. Ingeniero, engineer. Músico, musician. Autor, author. Veterinario, vet. Ejercicios, a traducir. Tim trabaja como abogado. Tim works as a lawyer. Jackie trabaja como periodista. Jackie works as a journalist. Journalist. Paul trabaja como ingeniero. Paul works as an engineer. Susie trabaja como autora. Susie works as an author. Sally trabaja como enfermera, no como músico. Sally works as a nurse, not as a musician. Bob trabajó como carpintero hasta el mes pasado. Bob worked as a carpenter until last year. Month. Michael trabajó como abogado hasta la semana pasada. Michael worked as a lawyer until last week. Law. Grant trabajó como músico hasta 2009. Grant worked as a musician until 2009. Sheila trabajó como autora hasta finales de los 90. Sheila worked as an author until the late 90s. Gareth trabajó como ingeniero hasta mediados de los 80. Ahora trabaja como periodista. Gareth worked as an engineer until the mid-80s. Now he works as a journalist. Mary trabajó como enfermera hasta principios de los 70. Ahora trabaja como veterinaria. Mary worked as a nurse until the early 70s. Now she works as a vet. Ella pensaba que ibas a llamar. She thought you were going to call. Paso 6. To give someone a hand. Echar una mano a alguien. Later, más tarde. Will, voluntad. 
Testamento. Gramática 2. Will versus going to. Ejercicios. A traducir. Tras pensarme lo decidimos ir al parque. I'm going to go to the park. Alguien se apunta de repente. ¿Qué diría? I'll come with you. Tras pensarlo pide una pizza. I'm going to call for pizza. Está concentrado en el ordenador y le entra hambre. Como dirías, I'll have some pizza. Llevo unos minutos pensando en hacer té. I'm going to make some tea. Otra persona se apunta a tomar uno. I'll have one. Tras dos minutos pensando en el caos de la cocina, I'm going to wash up. Alguien le ve fregando y le ayuda. I'll give you a hand to wash up. Lavar platos, fregar. Estaré de vuelta a las 10. I'll be back at 10. To be back. Te veo el lunes entonces. I'll see you Monday then. Nos vemos más tarde. I'll see you later. Estaré allí sobre las 6. I'll be there around 6. No te preocupes, yo cerraré. Don't worry, I'll lock up. Lock up. Cerrar todas las puertas con llave. Paso 7. Aprende bien unos pocos verbos irregulares antes de ir a por más. To forgive, perdonar. To forget, olvidar. To hold, sostener algo. To carry, sostener algo mientras nos movemos. Verbos irregulares. To have, to forget, to hold. Tener, have, had, had. Olvidar, forget, forgot, forgotten. Sostener, hold, held, held. Ejercicios a traducir. Todos los días lo tengo, ayer lo tuve. Every day I have it, yesterday I had it, have, had. Todos los días nos olvidamos, ayer nos olvidamos. Every day we forget, yesterday we forgot. Todos los días sujeto, ayer sujeté. Every day I hold, yesterday I held. Todos los días lo tenemos, ayer lo tuvimos. Every day we have it. Yesterday we had it. Todos los días olvida. Ayer olvidó. Every day he forgets. Yesterday he forgot. La semana pasada lo tuve. La semana pasada tuve una pesadilla. Last week I had it. Last week I had a nightmare. La semana pasada sujeté su bebé. Sujeté tus libros. Last week I had her baby. I had your books. La semana pasada. Last week. Omitimos the. La semana pasada se olvidaron de tu cumpleaños. Se olvidaron de hacer la colada. Last week they forgot your birthday. They forgot to do the washing. To do the washing. Hacer la colada. To do the washing up. Fregar los platos. La semana pasada te olvidaste de llamarme. Te olvidaste de ir al médico. Last week you forgot to call me. You forgot to go to the doctors. To forget. Puede ir seguido de sustantivo o verbo. La semana pasada sostuve su mochila. Te sujetamos la mano. Last week I had your backpack. We had your hand. Paso 8. Good, bad publicity. Buena, mala publicidad. Advertising. Publicidad. To take legal action. Emprender acciones legales. Whatever they please or whatever they want. Lo que se le antoja. Comprensión auditiva. Ejercicios. Escucha y responde. Well, does Graham suppose they'll have to bear? What was he going to take? Why didn't he take legal action? What point does he say the press has reached? And what does he believe is even worse than this? Graham, I guess we'll just have to bear the bad publicity. Supongo que no tenemos más remedio que aguantar la mala presa. To guess, adivinar, I guess, I suppose, supongo, to stand, to bear, aguantar. I was going to take legal action, but there's no point. Iba a emprender acciones legales, pero no serviría para nada. The press has reached the point where they do just about whatever they please. La prensa ha llegado a un punto en el cual hace más o menos lo que se les antoja. Has reached the point, ha llegado a un punto, and what's worse, people tend to believe that whatever the papers say must be the truth. Y lo que es peor, la gente tiende a creer que lo que dicen los periódicos debe de ser la verdad. People tend, plural. What does Graham suppose they'll have to bear? The bad publicity. What was he going to take? He was going to take legal action. Why didn't he take legal action? Because he thinks there's no point. What point does he say the press has reached? The point where they can do just about whatever they please. And what does he believe is even worse than this. That people tend to believe that whatever the papers say must be the truth. Paso nueve. Bad luck. Mala suerte. 
30 days half September, April, June and November, February 28 and the rest 31, 30, 13, números 13 y 30. Ejercicios. Di los números. 113, 430. 3,313, 30, 3,013, 13,030, 30,030, 10,430, 10,413, 13, 30, 113, 3,030, 1,013, 13,013, 13,000, 30,013, 30,030, 13,030. ¿Cuántos números has dicho sin ver las respuestas? Comenta. Paso 10. I can't hear you. No te oigo. What does that come to? ¿A cuánto asciende? To work as a o an. Trabajar como... El repaso. Iban a ir a Venecia, pero ella cogió la gripe. They were going to Venice, but she got flu. Iban a vender su casa cuando descubrieron la obra maestra en el ático. They were going to sell their house when they discovered a masterpiece in the attic. Ella iba a venir con nosotros, pero perdió su tren. She was going to come with us, but she missed her train. No oigo la conversación. I can't hear the conversation. No oigo la canción. I can't hear the song. Ella pensaba que ibas a llamar. She thought you were going to call. Pensaban que te iba a resultar difícil. They thought you were going to find it difficult. Pensaba que iba a ser más fácil de lo que era en realidad. I thought it was going to be easier than it actually was. Voy a pedir una pizza. I'm going to call for a pizza. Yo comeré algo. I'll have some. Voy a hacer algo de té. I'm going to make some tea. Jackie trabaja como periodista. Jackie works as a journalist. Graham trabaja como veterinario, no como carpintero. Graham works as a vet, not as a carpenter. Sheila trabajó como autora hasta finales de los 90. Sheila worked as a, um, author until the late 90s. La cantidad total asciende a 5.329 dólares. The total amount comes to 5.329 dólares. El total asciende a 90 euros. The total comes to 90 euros. Ascendió a 132 euros. It came to 132 euros. Todos los días lo tengo, ayer lo tuve. Every day I have it, yesterday I had it. Todos los días nos olvidamos, ayer nos olvidamos. Every day we forget, yesterday we forgot. Todos los días sujeto, ayer sujeté. Every day hold, yesterday held. Supongo que tendremos simplemente que aguantar la mala prensa. I guess we'll just have to bear the bad publicity. La gente tiende a creer que lo que dicen los periódicos debe ser la verdad. People tend to believe that whatever the papers say must be the truth. 3013. 13,030, 30,030, 10,413. Dedica 20 minutos al día a tu inglés, ya sea leyendo, hablando y o escuchando. Si te ha gustado, no dudes en suscribirte al canal de YouTube y seguirnos en Facebook y redes sociales para poder estar al día con nuevas lecciones y vídeos. Hasta el próximo vídeo.